One is stateless session B, and the other one is stateful session B. So what is all about the stateless session B and stateful session B? Now let's stateless session B. For example, if you are going to browse here web page, the web page has currency conversion. So it is going to convert the amount from one currency to the another currency. For example, you are converting from rupees into dollar or rupees into euro or euro to dollar. So if you are doing this kind of conversion and all, anybody who is accessing the web page can have the same functionality, same module can be served to any number of clients without any change. There is no need to maintain any client specific state in the web page to convert from one currency to the other currency. For those kind of applications, we can use stateless session B. Stateless session B is nothing but it is not maintaining any client state. For that purpose, we are using the stateless session B. In case of stateful session B, if the developer wants to maintain the client state across the web pages, then they can use the stateful session B. So, for example, if you are opening a mailbox, 